Today I want to show you the multi-angles LoRa for Queen image at this 2509. As you have seen in the intro, the images are not bad at all. For example, uh, this image and this is looking out the window. And when I change the angle to the top, uh, you can see this showing the road here. It's, it's not showing just like a 2D image now here. So it works really well. If you have followed my channel, you must have also seen my Queen Image at the 2509 video. That one, I wasn't able to change the camera angle at all. So today I want to show you the Laura here. You can go to the hugging face here. And it's called multiple angles. And here there are some examples. So we want to go to the LoRa download files here. And uh, this is the workflow I've downloaded. And this is the LoRa you have to download. Okay, let's go to Comfy UI. I've got the workflow already downloaded. So this is the workflow. You don't need this node if you don't want to compare image, you just delete it. And make sure you update your Comfy UI and restart it. So you should not have any missing node for that. This one, you will find some example how to use it. Like move the camera forward, move camera left or right, and so on. I have already changed the models according to my environment. I just don't want to download the model again. I just use whatever I've used for my Queen image at this 2509. So let me get my own workflow. Okay, this is my own one. So I have changed the models here. And you can see the LoRa is here. And this is my input image. I want to move the camera 45 degree to the left. Uh, I use orbit instead of turn or even though it's not given here, it should still work. So let's try that. Okay, it's done. Let's check the time. It's about two minutes. That's really quick for my 8 gig of VRAM. The image size is 1360 by 768. Let's check the result. So you can see it's not really 45 degrees, but you can see the camera has moved a little bit over the sign. The red sign here has moved to this here. And this sign has moved to the left. So it's showing more the green part here. Let's try it with 90 degree. Okay, it's done. The second run is even faster. It's less than one minute. So let's check out the result here. It's not really 90 degree. I think it worked indoor better than outdoor, but it's still moving the camera. Not too bad. Now I want to check whether I can add some changes in the image, not just camera moving. I want to change the camera views 45 degree to the top and the man in blue jacket makes a kick. So let's try that. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. Not bad. This guy is kicking here and the camera is going up, tilting down. Now I want to try two camera movement in one prompt. So let's try this here. Okay, basically it's moving 45 degree to the top and Y angle. So it should move a little bit back because it's according this here, Y angle lens. When I try to say something like camera pulls back or something like that. Instead of pulling the camera back, it's showing the person's back. 
So it's just get confused with the word back. So and the man kick and the the man in white singlet falls to the left. So see whether that works. Okay, it's done. Let's check the result. Now you can see camera moving up and this guy making a kick and the other guy is falling on the ground. I have noticed one thing. If I'm not very happy with this here, so I try to regenerate with random seed. It seems that seed doesn't really apply. Let me show you this. Okay, it's done. Let's look at the previous one here. And this is the new one. With different random seed, still look almost the same. Especially the guy in blue jacket. Maybe I need to change the CFG a little bit to get more randomness here. I think this is quite useful for first and last frame video generation. If you just change the content of the image without camera movement, the video will look very static. Let me run this on WAN 2.2 first last image video generation. So get this workflow here. This is my first image. And this is my latest last image. Now I just want to run it for three seconds and see how it goes with the vertical 640 size. And let's run. Okay, it's done. Okay, now let's check the result. Okay, it's not bad. I think the fighting is not very good, but it, with the shaking of the camera, it looks really nice. I'm going to use MM Audio to add sound effect to this video clip and show it at the end of this tutorial. I find this LoRa is really useful, especially use it for first and last frame video generation. If you don't know how to do this, you can check out my 1.2.2 first last frame video generation. If you are not happy with the outcome and want to generate a new version, I think just relying on the seed here, it doesn't change that much. It's be much better if you change the prompt a little bit to get a different image. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. There, there are more videos to watch. Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.